Let's say over 1 billion people, they live with disability for Bodo the world. And the matter of say, maybe they're not the portion this people from body. Now, what is the shook body for? For inside the United Nations group of the International Day of People with Disabilities, when we say they do for Lagos. Our talk talk person, Mary Chinda, he get a report. Moses Akinto is a bag maker. The 20 year old entrepreneur is visually impaired. He is one of the 25 million Nigerians living with disabilities. But his philosophy of life makes him different. He believes there is ability in disability. Akinto's belief goes in harmony with the submission at this year's International Day for Persons Living with Disabilities held at the United Nations International Center in Lagos. I am blind. And then they distress. The panelists here gently concur that there is no such thing as disability, but diverse abilities. This is on people living with disabilities, on their rights. So there has been a lot of discussion and debate on what we should do. And many countries have done a lot of things. In 1992, that's when the, the General Assembly decided on a day like this, the International Day of People Living with Disabilities. And in 2006, the Convention on the Rights of People Living with Disabilities was adopted. And as you know, just recently, Nigeria has approved a law on, the, on people living with disabilities. We are making progress. But progress is not uniform. In some countries, especially in the developing world, progress is very slow. I'll give you an example. If your child is born blind, do you think it is easy for this child in some remote area in Nigeria to become a professor, to do and study and do a PhD? We need to put in place systems that can help people living with disabilities to live nearly. A normal life. As much as the UN thrives to promote inclusiveness of persons with disability in line with its 2030 development agenda, the experience of a Debbie Bilawal, a visually impaired, however, paints the plights of persons living with disabilities across the country. I got blind last year and um, seriously, um, it's a little bit difficult. Um, living with disability in Nigeria, not even in Lagos as a whole. Because um, first the stigmatization of how people will treat you because you're living with disability. And when you have your mindset get um, gotten already that, okay, I'm fixed with this, and this is who I am now, people don't um, accept it easily. The awareness in Lagos is a little bit... Um, um, is, is appalling. Like when I use my guide cane and I'm walking on the road, it's a few people that understand that this person is actually blind. Some people pull you over, push you over. While the UN hopes to achieve the 2030 Sustainable Development Goal 10 of reducing inequality, Lawal's experience may be indicative that Nigeria might as well be far away from this goal. Mary Chinda for Plus TV Africa.